we found a gorgeous rock and decided that's where we were going to camp that night in the Serengeti. I woke up with a jolt and there was a sudden panic. My heart pounding, my veins throbbing. I could feel the flow of my blood. And then I felt hot breath. Something was pressing up against my head from the outside of the tent, sniffing. <laughs> it was a lion. All you can do is be responsive to the next stimulus that you're receiving. That will determine whether you're going to make the next minute or not. I need to focus on my breath and somehow make my breath sink in with the way the lion is breathing. Make my pulse feel like the pulse of a lion. So for one minute I was a prey and the next minute I was with it. I was a lion too. I have never been more in tune with the wild in me and the wild around me. And when I was in that moment, it was just pure magic. Everything that I do that is creative, I do it to facilitate conservation. I do the campaigns I do because I feel like things within me are dying when things outside are. There are parts of me that I have to save. If that means lending a visual voice, I have to do it. We operate in such an indulgent, self-oriented system. Wild always gets compromised. Whether Africa's future will be any different is left to our hard work and how we fight for it today. Wake up today and go out to any patch of wilderness you have in your life. Whether it is a sparrow or a pigeon or a tree, just spend a minute connecting to it. See you in that tree or that sparrow or see that creature within you. And the minute you do that, there's something within you that will shift. You will wake up. Let the wild in. <laughs>